Hello YouTube, this is Daniel here from Tech Tutorials 101, back here with another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to deploy Office 365 um, using the deployment toolkit and the click to run version. Using this toolkit allows you to automate your Office 365 installation and you can exclude and include apps, include different language packages, specify whether you want 32 or 64 bit. You can also place this on a network share and then run the installation from that network share. So to get started on this, you're going to want to come to this page here, this Microsoft download page and download the Office 365 deployment tool. I will place the, the link in, in the description. So we're just going to go ahead and download that. And then just run it here. Really small utility, around three megabyte. So it's just the next installation, and then it's just going to ask you to extract the Office 365 installation files. I've already done this to my IT folder, so I'm just going to go back to here, and this will extract the configuration files. So once you've done that, you're going to want to open up Command Prompt and navigate to that folder. So CD D. DIR, and then we want to run the setup.exe slash download and then just the configuration .xml. So if we enter that, that will start to download the files. Um, I've already downloaded them right here, so I'm not going to do that, but it may take a few, it may take around 10 minutes to download the files, it's about 2 gigabyte in size. So once the files are downloaded, you're now ready to launch your installation. So first off, we want to come into here and depending on the version you're using, x64, x86, you want to modify this configuration file. So you want to open up in Notepad. So you're going to want to start off with the configuration file like this. Um, I'm excluding the app publisher. It won't look like this at the start, um, but I've, I will put this, this whole configuration XML in the description so you can just paste it in there if needed and you can exclude any other apps which which you may require or put in any other settings that you need. Just note here you've got your office client edition here and also the priority and the language that the installation will install. So to install it you want to come back to your command prompt and then you just want to run setup.exe and then slash configure and then you just want to put in the configuration file x86 and then just run that that's going to take some time to go ahead and install your office 365 installation while it's doing that, I just want to highlight some of the configuration options available to us within this XML file. So we can see here we've got the add source path. So, so if you wanted to put this onto a network share, so the office files, which I mentioned earlier, which contain all the installation data, you can place this on network share and in the configuration folder file, sorry, you can reference this as the source path and then you can then install from a network share. We then have the client editions such as 64 or 32 bit and also the language packs that you want to include with your Office 365 installation. And also this is a very useful um, thing to include as well as a logging path. So if you install this across multiple machines, you can use this to aid in troubleshooting. And then we just want to come down to here to see the product IDs. So if you want to exclude or even or include certain products, you can do it via the ID here. So we've got Access, Excel, Groove, 
all those products there which can be excluded if needed. For example, in my installation, I'm going to be excluding publisher. And what you would do is you would just put this, this little note here in the configuration.xml file and you can just list all of the apps inside here that you can that you want to exclude. So just got a few moments on this installation. I'll bring back the video when it's completed. Right, so we can see here, Office has now been installed on the system. And if we go down to start, we should be able to see that publisher has not been installed. Yet you can see it's now missing and the configuration XML file has been used correctly to exclude that app. So as mentioned previously, you can utilize this with tools such as Group Policy or SCCM to deploy this across wider infrastructure. And that way you can always have the same installation on each user. You could also have different XML files for different users, depending on whether you want certain apps for certain users. So if some users required Excel and others didn't, or only some users required Publisher. Um, another great benefit is you can also include pro versions of apps if you have the licenses. So you could include the pro version of Physio if a certain team is using it. And it can really help to automate your installations. So that is the end of this video. If you have any first suggestions for videos on Office 365 um, or AWS or any further um, system administration topics, please do let me know. Please like the video and please subscribe.